Welcome to World Supermarket. We're very pleased to have you selling on our platform. It's time to get your shop up and running so you can start selling. On the top right corner, you can see the admin button. This will take you to your back end where all the magic happens. Here you can set up your shop, upload your products and provide all information for your customers so they can start buying. First things first, let's get your logo and cover images up. You can do this by simply clicking Settings on the left and then clicking Edit Company Profile. Please add your PayPal email address here in the PayPal field, otherwise you won't be able to receive payment. Here you can add an email address which you want orders to be sent to. Orders will be emailed over to you electronically as they come in. Please click Choose File under Company Logo and select the image you want for your logo. All images need to be in JPEG format to a max of 1 megabyte per image. For your banner, you can select up to three different images. They work as a carousel and change every few seconds on your shop front. That way you can highlight your best-selling products, offers, promotions or just show off more of your company. Ideally, this needs to be 1900 by 600 pixels and again in JPEG format. In the description box, you can type in information about your company or its story. It is really important that you add your terms, conditions and refund policies in the terms and conditions box to make sure your customers know what to expect when they place an order. This information will appear on the terms tab on each product. You can also add a company video here in the field underneath the terms. This will appear in the About Us video tab on your storefront. Please remember that your video has to be uploaded to YouTube first, then get your video's ID and enter it in the field. The video ID is the part after V equals in your video's URL. For example, if your link is... Your video ID will be this part highlighted. Now please remember to click save otherwise these details won't be recorded. Now you're ready to start adding your products. Please take your time doing this as it's important that you make available to your customers all the information they might require. From your shop dashboard, go to the e-commerce tab and then go to add product. Please put your product name here. You need to make sure to create titles that attract your customers and are descriptive of your product. Please use title case or capitalize the first letter on each word as it makes it easier for your potential customers to read and looks more attractive on search engines such as Google. If you use an SKU number, here is where you can add it. This is your internal item number to identify each product and this is used for inventory control. Add a photo to your product by clicking here and then selecting a file. Remember they need to be in JPEG format and can be up to 1 megabyte in size. Our website is a very visual platform and our advice is that you use high quality images for your products. You can add as many images as you like to a product, however you will have to do this after creating your listing when you go back to your products list. You can either click on the image icon under the actions column or the image icon when you go back into the product screen. Below you can add the product summary, description and specification. Please make sure you create unique text for these. Google is a stickler and doesn't like it when you use the same content across the web. Having unique content makes it easier for Google to index and puts your products higher in the search results helping you bring more customers to your shop. Also make sure to use sentence case when writing this. Sentence case is when you only capitalise the first word of every sentence. This is ideal for descriptions and larger blocks of text. Don't forget to provide as much information as you can but remember the summary has a limit of 400 characters. The specification field is where you can add things like measurements, materials, components, electrical outputs or other general contents. Under the specification field, you will find a field labelled video where you can add a product video to showcase even more qualities of your product. Remember that you only need the video ID from YouTube like you did earlier for your company video. In these three boxes below, it's all related to SEO. What you put in the SEO title box will display in search engines as the page title. For example, within this section you should include a single key term that users may type into search engines that would allow them to find your product. 
It is also helpful to add a key USP that will make you stand out within the listings. For example, free delivery. The optimal length is 50 to 60 characters. In the SEO description box is what will display in search engines as a description of the page. This is your first opportunity to pitch your product to users and it should briefly but clearly explain an overview of your product and why they should purchase this from you over other suppliers. Again, it is helpful to include a key term that users will be likely to search for. The optimal length is 150 to 160 characters. In the SEO keywords box, it's a slightly less important field. However, you can use this space to add several key terms that users may use to search your product. Keep this to less than 10 terms. The use of tags makes your products easier to be found by potential customers. You can have up to 10 tags per product. Underneath the search engine optimization section, you will see the tags bar where you can start typing in and we will show you suggestions based on what's in our system. If your tag isn't in there, just click add new and this will open up a pop-up where you can then add it to our system. Now for the important bit, pricing. At World Supermarket, you can sell both retail and wholesale, so you will see fields for both. Also minimum order quantities and an all price field if you want to show the previous price. If you want to sell wholesale, then please remember to tick the activate wholesale prices box and then enter your prices. Only companies can see wholesale prices and they will not be displayed to the general public. Below, you can enter the stock amount and weight of your product in kilograms. A great way to get your products found is to categorise them. Just click the menu labelled WSM category, then choose one relevant to your product. You can also create your own categories and organise your shop front by simply clicking Add New next to the company category. For example, red wine, white wine, rosé, etc. Now, delivery is simple. For retail sales, you just need to list the service or time and either fill in the price for delivery tick free postage and packaging, or tick delivery to confirm. If your delivery cost is per order, then you can put zero in the additional box. If your delivery cost is per item, then repeat the delivery price into the additional item box. If your price for delivery gets cheaper the more the order of that product, then put that price in the additional box. If you offer free postage and packaging, then please just tick this box and this will show your customers on the front end. You can tick delivery to confirm if you sell something big or you want to work out a cost dependent on where a buyer lives. Wholesale delivery always has to be confirmed via our messaging system which the buyer can then accept or decline. You can also add attributes like colours, size, style etc. To do this go to the attributes box and click add new and then add your attributes. Once you are done just click save and your product will be ready for your customers. You can view and manage orders by clicking Orders under e-commerce. Here, it will display the list of orders numbers and addresses. You can change the status of an order by selecting this drop-down. You will also need to tick the Dispatched box once you have sent out the product, which will then inform the customer via email, letting them know it's on the way. We are really excited about working with you to make sure you conquer the online e-commerce marketplace. One of the ways we manage to keep our low final fee is due to the competitive prices our sellers give us. This way we can both grow together and succeed. In the next free tutorial we are going to talk to you about SEO, blogging and some really exciting world supermarket tools that will make sure Google ranks you top of your category.